big chest day. Big chest day. We got top singles this week, so you know how, how we do with the top singles. I usually just do, you know, the normal warm up and then like a heavy warm up to determine whether or not I'm just gonna go for a heavy top single or a max. But the reason why today's shit is like a big day for me is because um, last time with bench, I don't know, shit was just whack. I couldn't even hit 405. You know what I mean? So it's big because we're gonna be going back up to 405 and we're gonna be getting our revenge. So it's not just about like, oh, let's hit some heavy shit. It's about fucking revenge today. So we got a big day, a big day. I'm telling you guys, like the ultimate hack, the ultimate hack to have your working weight, heavy shit, feel the best that it possibly can feel is to treat your warm up like your heavy shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't just go through emotions and just throw the weight until you get to the heavy shit. Really feel out the weight on each set, unrack it, hit that rep, do your shit like it's heavy stuff. You know what I mean? Like this is only 95 pounds, quick math. And I'm gonna be treating it like it's 405. And for the whole entirety of the warm up, I'm gonna be treating every single rep like it's that 405. Like, I promise you, do that shit, it's gonna feel fucking light. We got on the single cookie. What up? Okay. I was a little bit nervous because that one kind of tasted like shit, but since this other cookie tasted good, it balances out. You know what I mean? Like, I know usually, um, no, 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 no. Like the laws of balancing or whatever the fuck you call it still apply here. You know what I mean? Like. You have something that's good, you have something that's bad. Combine them, it equals something neutral. So I guess this will feel neutral. Hey man, neutral is better than bad, remember that. It feels good, it feels good. I don't wanna jump the gun, you know, because usually I can't really see how it's gonna feel until I get like heavy. Um, but for right now, I can at least say that it feels good. You know, it feels like, uh, it feels like something. And that something is good. That something is uh, so good. Um, so under normal circumstances, I'd be a little bit nervous because Ryan went on another vacation I'm gonna have to talk with that kid, you know, once we get back. Like, he's supposed to be here because the power that he outputs is fucking insane. You know what I'm saying? So when he leaves, it's like a fucking dip in power, you know? So I gotta talk with that dude, tell him, like, he needs to be thinking about Kev Dog and the Croc Call more, not just about himself and going on all these fancy fucking vacations. But anyways, under normal circumstances, I'd feel really nervous because um, I don't have a lift off today because I am recording a vlog, you know, so like providing entertainment for the croc call takes priority over having a liftoff. So if we go up to 405 today, we're gonna have to be giving ourselves our own liftoffs, you know what I mean? So that's gonna make it a lot more challenging. Um, but I feel good, you know what I mean? Like I ate a good ass meal um, before I came to the gym. Uh, I feel like I ate it early enough to get the benefits, you know, of the energy or whatever. And um, pre-workout's hitting pretty good. We got the Burks. Um, so yeah, I feel like we've done a lot before the gym to like make up for Ryan's absence. So we should still be able to hit this. And if I could get 405 no lift off, oh, that, that's like, I'm gonna be hype as fuck about that because I've never been able to do that. Like at one time I did do it, but it was hella sloppy. Ass was off the bench. I was air humping dude, just to get that weight up there. Like I wouldn't even count that as like a PR. 
So we'll see what we can do. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean? Like we feel springy in the arms. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, we feel like fucking Bellamy right now. Springy in the arms. And mad fucking respect to anybody that understands that Bellamy and Spring reference. That means you're a real one. One piece for life. This one's for you, Ryan. I hope you're enjoying your vacation. Bro, if you're not dedicating your lifts to your friends every here and there, you're a fake ass friend. It's not a bad thing from time to time to think about the homies, dedicate your lifts to them. You know what I mean? A shameless plug before I get into this three, 340. I mean, I know you peep them. <laughs> shorts are fire, right? And there's another pair of shorts, um, a couple oversized tees that are super fire as well. Sweatshirt, all dropping Friday for the shirts. They're oversized. You know the deal with the oversized. Always want to size up because if it's too big, you can just cut the bottom. That's what I always do. You know what I mean? So can't go wrong with sizing up for that. For the shorts, I would say they are true to size because if you look at the waist, right, it's pretty thick. So if they do happen to be like, if you get them like in true to size and they're a little bit too long, you only need to roll them up once, you know, and they'll fit the way you want them to. Um, that applies for both shorts, sweatshirts. Me personally, I always size up for sweatshirts just because I like my sweatshirts to be a little bit baggy. But yeah, all of that stuff dropping on Friday. Um, if you want to look more into the drop, you know what I mean? Aesthetic boys on Instagram. Check it out. Now we're about to eat this shit up for breakfast. <laughs> you know, like we're in the hotel right now. Right, and the fucking uh, person just brought us some breakfast in bed. I'm about to like nibble that up. Shit feels good today. Shit feels good. I just need to get my shit together on the descent. My descent's a little rough just because I haven't done bench in a while without a lift off. So it's a little bit, little bit awkward just giving myself that lift off and getting ready to descend. So I'm gonna use this last heavy ass warm up to kind of just like get that down as much as I can um, before I go for the top set of 405. So we got this heavy ass warm up. This will be 365. Um, probably take like a little break before I do this. And then we'll take like a full five minute break and then attempt the 405. And then if we get it, we celebrate, you know what I mean? And if we don't, we open up the windows and end it all. Diving out of that bitch at first. So stakes are pretty high. Life or death. All right. All right.
right? So as you can see, you know, a little Super Saiyan action. We took off the pump cover. That's fucking gone, dude. So hopefully that allows this 365 to feel amazing. Um, I know I said I wasn't nervous in the beginning, but now nah, I'm nervous, dude. I'm nervous just because like you always get nervous going for weight that you failed literally the last time you got it. Um, and now it's like under even worse circumstances because we don't get a lift off or that confidence that you get when you have a spotter. So what I'm hoping to gain out of this warm up is not just to be like fully warmed up for the 405 attempt, but have it move good enough in a way to where like that's like my confidence of having a lift off in a spotter. You know what I mean? Just how the 365 moves. So without further ado, I am here to put on a show for you with 365 pounds. really good that was definitely a confidence boost i mean we're still going to be going into a nervous like i said you can't help but feel a little bit nervous going into a weight that you failed before under even worse circumstances but that definitely did give me a confidence boost because honestly that was like the best uh 90 percent of my max has moved since i went for and got 410 pounds so we're feeling good we are feeling good I'd say there's probably like a 97% chance we can hit 405. So it's perfect. Makes for good content. You know what I mean? Because you're not sure whether or not I'm going to get this. So you kind of have to watch. Or, you know, you could be like, fuck Kev Dog. I don't care about him. You know, I don't like him. Fuck him and I won't watch it. Just thinking about that hurts me, you know what I mean? Like, sorry to get real on you guys, but I just want you guys to care about me. Nah, I'm just playing. I care and I love you guys and that's enough. You don't have to love me. I'm more of a giver. So it is about that time. We got on 405. Four cookies, four cookies. <laughs> oh, fuck no. That's like mystery flavor. Like I can't tell if it's good or it's bad or what the fuck it's supposed to taste like. So that being said, I have no idea how the fuck this is gonna move. It could move really well. It could move decent. It could move like shit, you know? Like the best way to handle these situations is just to get underneath the weight and just see how you, it feels once you fucking pick it up. You know what I mean? Not much you can do besides that. We're fighting the nerves right now. We're trying to like, I'm nervous in the way right now to where it's like, I can use like how I feel, you know, nervous, whatever, you know, for adrenaline. Um, I'm just making sure I don't get to the point where I'm like too nervous. And, you know, I get the shakes um, and I just start second guessing myself. So just trying to. The best way to handle, you know, that situation where you start getting nervous to the point where you're shaky, you're second guessing yourself is just take a minute. You know what I mean? Just breathe um, and just just think about your technique. You know what I mean? Just think about the technique, envision how the weight's going to move, you know, just do that instead of just thinking like, oh, I'm so nervous. You know, this is going to be so heavy because then it's only going to make it worse, you know, so just right now. Thinking about our technique, thinking about lifting that weight, how it's gonna feel. Okay. Okay.
I mean, nothing we can do. You know what I mean? Like, if I were to go back, I mean, liftoff was a little rough. You know, I just not really used to giving myself a liftoff. You could see the feet kind of sliding out as I picked it up, but fuck that, you know, no excuses. We fucking just simply weren't strong enough, you know? So the only thing I can do now is just really spend the next couple of weeks um, dialed in, you know, working on that strength, working on that technique, um, and make sure that even if there is no liftoff, that nothing um, is left up in the air and we know 100% we can get it. So just gotta stay positive, you know what I mean? Um, stay positive, keep grinding, not give in to, you know, the anger and disappointment, you know what I mean? Um, and just, I guess, take it and use it as motivation, you know what I mean? Continue to stay close to the Lord, continue to work hard. That's all we can fucking do. And then next time we come and we fucking destroy this. telling you guys sometimes you're stronger than you think you are you know what I mean like I'm not saying every single time you fail a fucking PR or something just go for it again um, but like if you fail a PR you know what I mean and you think that you had it try giving yourself just a little breaky break you know and just go into it with more intensity you know what I'm saying like trust in yourself